hello hello my fearless ones happy thursday i believe it is thursday i am sitting in front of sam's and i decided let me do a video and i also actually wrote down my content so i can stay on task for you guys i hope everyone is doing okay welcome to all my new subscribers i'm so happy you joined the fearless family i'm gonna try to put out a lot of great content in the fall so be on the lookout don't forget to smash your notification button so you don't miss out on all this good information i have so many good things coming for you guys i'm working on it so just stay tuned so the title of this video is how to build relationships with credit unions so everyone get with Penn Fed and they get with Navy Federal and even like I believe it's called PSEC, which is Pennsylvania State Employees, something like that, you guys. Don't quote me on it. I don't remember because I'm with a lot of banks. Um, I'm also with NICU, which I will have their link below as well. Another credit union. It's for nurses, but um, great great banks very small so with when you when it comes to applying for some of these banks be patient give them time to set up your account because they're really small and they're just growing right so let's start how do you build a relationship what do you do what do i do how do i have so many bank accounts and don't pay any fees for free checking i have money going into them every two weeks or more often so let's just say you're a business owner and you have an e-commerce site and you may take PayPal payments and then you have stripe payments and then you might also take payments from Amazon pay right Google pay Apple pay it's usually if you have a Shopify store those options for customers to pay are available you just have to sign up for them. another video but that's how it's done so each company what you do is you you have them send the payment to a different bank account so let's just say Amazon pay I don't have very many payments coming through Amazon usually about five to six a month but I will have that payment go to one credit union right and then I will have you know PayPal go to a different credit union so I can always have an influx of cash flowing into those accounts if you understand that now let's just say that you're not an entrepreneur but you still want to build relationships with these banks and you work what I would do is every two weeks or however often you get paid just have $25 going over to your credit union and you can still keep your main bank where you bank it right wherever you get your direct deposit and then you just have them send like 25 30 whatever you know whatever you decide <clears throat> multiple accounts multiple credit unions do the same thing say okay I'm gonna allocate hundred dollars a month to go to my credit union and you have Navy Fed you have a pen Fed and you may have an Andrews uh, that's another great bank give high credit limits I will cover them as well a lot of great credit union accounts out there so now we've discussed how to fund it because remember we're building a relationship with these banks we want credit we want lines of credit we want to be able to go get an auto loan with low interest rates we want high credit card limits so what we're doing is we're funding our account what I call it is slow drip in the account right we haven't asked for any money yet so don't get what Navy Fed and automatically apply some people will get a high credit limit but not all so let's just say you have an average fair credit score right so the banks are not just going to give you credit right just, just due to your credit score and maybe credit history so you have to wait okay so you have to wait to build a rapport because they don't know you you know and what I do is I don't make any withdrawals like I have a bit a Navy Fed business bank account I have never made a withdrawal from I take they automatically send you debit cards and what I do is if I have the option to freeze them I freeze them if I don't 
I will just maybe put the card up because I don't want any activity on that card and I don't want to leave it open for any type of you know negative activity like fraud right so I hide the debit card what I found out with Navy Fed business is that you cannot freeze your debit card not with that account now your personal debit card with Navy Fed you can go in and freeze it unfreeze it so those cards in my checking are froze I don't make any withdrawals. I don't make I don't make any payments out of these accounts. I just let the money sit, right? Because with Navy Fed, you have an internal credit score, right? You have a score within their system, not just yours. That's the reason why some people can have a 580 or a 620 or you know a really really fair, a low fair credit score and still get a 10k, 15k credit card. It's because they have built up an internal credit score with Navy Fed. So if you're with Navy Fed now and you've been with them maybe two to three months and maybe you've been declining a card or maybe they offered you a secured card instead of an unsecured card with them, call them, find out what's your score. Ask them, what's my internal score? Sometimes they'll mail you out a letter and tell you. Um, most of the time they will mail you out a letter to tell you this is what your internal score with us is and then you know this is the range this is considered low this is considered high what is my score now I don't know but I will do another Navy Fed video after this one because I have some new um, new business with them that I want to discuss and tell you how I got it so you, you want to build up an internal score with these companies. You know, trust. With anything you do, you have to build trust, right? So I would not make any withdrawals. Next, the length of the account. Meaning, how long have you had it open? It goes back to what I just said. If you just open the account, you should not be applying for credit. That's my personal opinion because... The goal is to get as a higher limit as possible with them. I don't want a thousand dollars because it's gonna take so long to get to that, you know, 30, 40 K card. Because remember, Navy Fed is giving over now 80K in revolving credit on credit cards. You can get up to three cards on one account, like under your personal, right? So if they give you three credit cards and you have a choice to pick from and over those three, you can get 80 over 80 K because I've seen some people hit 84 now 85,000 in available credit on their credit cards. Why start out with 2000? Why? It's going to take you years to get to that 80 K. So the whole point is you want to, you know, sweeten this account build that relationship so when you first apply for credit you get something high off the top off rip right so we're not playing this is this is real life and what can i do with a thousand dollar card you probably already have one of those in your wallet so you're trying to you're trying to get high credit limits and i'm telling you how because i have several of them um what else i want to discuss i think that's it how to build relationships with credit unions and that that's it how to get how to get that auto loan how to do that refi so my next i have another video as well coming up about refine and the benefits you get will refine with navy federal so i hope this was helpful to some people uh remember i will leave a link for um some credit unions and some credit card offers below the video and just take a look. Most of them are soft pull, so you don't have to worry about it affecting your credit. And until next time, don't forget to turn those notifications on. And thank you for watching. Bye.